I struggle with my mental health a lot. Anybody else? Woo! Hell yeah, fuck the rest of you guys. <laughs> Uh, I do comedy a lot. Sometimes if I'm driving home after a show and it didn't go well, I'll be like, man, I should drive off the side of the road. But I drive a brand new Ford Ranger and the lane assist is too good. And that's why I'm a Ford guy, not a Chevy guy. But I am less suicidal now though uh, because one of my friends is really bad at painting. <laughs> and every time someone dies, she paints them. So I have to outlive this bitch. So she never gets a chance to paint me. <laughs> but I think a lot about what happens after you die. Uh, for me, I grew up Hindu, so I thought reincarnation sounds cool, right? I was like, if I can come back as anything, I would love to come back as like a white lady's dog. <laughs> so that way I can keep dressing like this. You guys laughed too hard at that. Uh, <laughs> and then it's like a white lady's dog. Sometimes she'll like bring a guy home to fuck. And then the guy will be like, hey, get off the bed. And then she'll be like, hey, be nice to him. He doesn't know better. And I'm just like in the corner of the room watching them fuck. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, guy, I don't know any better. <laughs> Do her me style. <laughs> That's a really good joke. I have been thinking about adopting another dog. Uh, I look on Pet Finder every morning like it's Tinder. And I just like imagine my life with all these different dogs. <laughs> but those like dog adoption bios are like all over the fucking place, right? Because they're either just like, come see the dog, figure it out. Or it's like a white lady's creative writing exercise. <laughs> where she like becomes the dog and writes the bio as the dog. <laughs> so she'll write the bio and she'll be like, hi, my name's Whiskey. I used to have a family once. <laughs> and now I train every night for my revenge. And you get sad about it at first, but then you remember that a person wrote it and then you get more sad. <laughs> but I get it. Uh, I pretended to be a dog a lot, too, uh, on Instagram. Uh, I had an Instagram account for my dog, but I had to cut that shit out because it was just like me pretending to be a dog, messaging other people pretending to be dogs. <laughs> just messaging dogs on Instagram, just having insane dog conversations. Just like, hey, Thor the Thunder Pup, we should go on a hike sometime. I noticed in your pictures, your mom's always alone. <laughs> and you probably noticed in my pictures that my dad's always alone. <laughs> so maybe we can get together and play and they can do it us style. <laughs> and then it's like 4 a.m. and I'm like sexting another dog. <laughs> Just like, what would you do if I was there right now? Well, I'd probably start by like sniffing your ass a little bit. <laughs> really get to know you. Send me a picture of all six of your titties. <laughs> I did that joke one time and someone in the crowd goes, dogs have eight titties. I was like, you should be in jail for knowing that. <laughs> or the pound. So I think about dog poop a lot. <laughs> Anybody else's doggy poop? Yeah, it fucking sucks. Uh, I asked one of my dog expert friends, like, uh, hey, what do you do about that? And they were just like, you should put hot sauce on the dog poop. And so I was like, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Cause all I can imagine is just like me walking around my apartment complex, just putting hot sauce on all the dog shit. And then all my neighbors are just looking out the window and they're just like, honey. I think that Indian guy's gonna eat that dog shit. <laughs> they love spicy foods. <laughs> Fuck you, man. I, uh, I wanna tell you guys about my favorite memory of all time. Uh, I just got back from traveling to Oregon not too long ago, and uh, I was walking on the beach, 
and a group of Indian people stopped me and asked me to take their picture. And I was like, yeah, for sure. It was like 10 to 12 Indian people. I was taking their picture. And then this really nice white lady walks by. <laughs> and then she asks, <laughs> do you want me to get all of you in the picture? <laughs> and I felt so fucking bad for her that for like a split second, I was just like, maybe I should just get in the picture. <laughs> Because I know in her mind, this is her biggest white lady nightmare of all fucking time. Because she sees me on the beach and she's just like, oh no, I need to help this BIPOC. <laughs> Which doesn't mean bisexual person of color like I thought it did. <laughs> and I didn't let her off the hook at all. I just go, oh, I don't know them. I'm just brown also. <laughs> And then she never did anything nice for anybody ever again. <laughs> I, um, I read an article the other day that said, um, it wasn't an article, it was a meme. <laughs> That's where I get my news from. <laughs> and I guess like the police in Colorado made this meme where just like, what your bumper stickers, like give criminals intel on like how to rob you. So like if your car has a sticker about like snowboarding, that means you have like a bunch of expensive shit in your garage. If your car has a sticker about like a child's after school activity, that means like after school is the best time to rob you. So here's how I would rob people in Colorado based off their bumper stickers. <laughs> <laughs> so the first one is if your car says like a fur mama on it, like some kind of like animal rescue sticker, that means you probably live alone. <laughs> And you're gonna be really easy to rob because your cat isn't gonna do shit. <laughs> if your car has a sticker uh, for the band Fish, Grateful Dead, Bass Nectar, Sublime, some bullshit like that, that means the car is your house. <laughs> and I'm gonna steal all of your fucking crystals and ketamine <laughs> and hula hoops. <laughs> And then if your car has a sticker that says a uh, military wife on it, <laughs> that means like her husband won't be home, <laughs> but another dude will be there. <laughs> it's okay, I can say that. I was in ROTC for two years. <laughs> You're welcome for your freedom. <laughs> I, uh, I hate my apartment complex because uh, they try to make everything like cute. Like uh, right now it's a uh, happy holidays and holla is spelled H-O-L-L-A. Uh, -L -L which I'm pretty sure is a hate crime. <laughs> and they put out an email a couple months ago and they're like, hey, we're having a 1920s themed pool party. And I thought, wow, what a neat way to let me know that I'm no longer welcome at the pool. <laughs> That's a history joke. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I've done a lot of online dating in my life. Uh, I was on uh, Hinge, and I matched with my first Indian person. Uh, but I'd never been with an Indian person before, so I didn't know what to expect. So I thought I'd get prepared by trying to watch a bunch of uh, Indian porn. <laughs> but I couldn't get through the song and dance numbers. <laughs> You guys have been amazing. I've been BK Sharad. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye.